In this video, I am going to be telling you all about my troubles with time. My name's Inwills, and welcome to the In Crowd. Hello everyone and welcome back to one of my personal vlogs. I hope you're all looking good and feeling fine and staying healthy and safe. Now, don't panic. I know in the intro I mentioned the word time, but don't worry, this is not going to be a scientific lesson all about time. It's more about the overall troubles I have with time. Now, despite saying that this is not going to be a scientific lesson about time, I have to admit that time is one of those wonderful concepts that always gets my brain all in a befuddle, confused. I actually remember the first time I actually recognised or acknowledged time as a concept and that we couldn't actually stop time and it was just endlessly continuously moving forward. I remember being in a primary school classroom as a child, not a teacher, wondering what would happen if I stopped the hands of the clock moving. I still remember quite vividly the realisation that the clock was actually just measuring time and it was not time itself, which we could not actually stop. I remember thinking to myself, age seven or eight, I think, wow. Now, in a similar way about measuring time, I must say that I think mathematics would be a lot easier if we had, instead of 60 seconds in a minute, we had 100 seconds in a minute and 100 minutes in an hour. And so like 10 hours in half a day. And some people will look at me and say, you can't alter time. But really and truly, I would just be making the hands of the clock go faster or redefine what a second or a minute actually was. But just before we get on to my three major troubles with time, I'd just like to remind you that with our current technology, we can't actually go at the speed of light. And this would be very exciting because I think it was Einstein who first sort of like mentioned this, that if we could travel at the speed of light, then time would actually stop. Yeah, however, I think I'm right in thinking that as as you increase speed close and close to the speed of sound, it would be a little bit like me in lockdown. Your mass also increases. So you would actually be getting heavier and heavier and heavier and then probably just stop. Yeah, that wouldn't be fun at all. But... Before I get on to my three troubling things about time, please consider liking, commenting and subscribing to this channel. Not only will you be supporting the channel itself, but you'll also be participating and encourage me to be to achieve my dream of being a self-financed content creator. And if you would like to give a little bit of extra help, if you know what I mean. The link to my Patreon is in the comments below. I currently have nine Patreons. Go me. Uh, still, my first target or goal was 10. So you could be the one. But enough of this self-promotion. Let's talk about the three troubling things I have with time. Okay, number one, waiting for something to happen. I mean, why? Why or oh why does time that is obviously a constant actually slow down when you're waiting for things to happen? You know, I know it's only a perception, but it's very annoying. 
waiting for Christmas morning to arrive, waiting for that start of the exam or that dental appointment to happen, you know, or waiting for something to arrive or the end of the exam and seeing those hands slowly tick back by, or even waiting to leave something. I mean, why does it actually appear to slow down? It seems to crawl by, but not just minutes and seconds, but hours or even days. I'm waiting to go on annual leave and I'm counting down the days, but each day seems to be going so slowly. It's as if time is playing with my mind and getting the laugh, last laugh. I always think that we shouldn't wish our life away, but I would appreciate it if it moved slightly faster at times. My trouble with time number two. Just the reverse of number one. How come when you are enjoying something, sp time speeds up? I know it's just a perception, but it speeds up. You know, it's completely the opposite. You are always wanting, you are sort of like enjoying something and really enjoying it. Then all of a sudden it's gone. It's disappeared. I always think at the end of Christmas Day, well, that's it gone for another year. It went so quickly, you know, but the days before Christmas seem to last forever. And also time off work. I mean, you get time off work and you think about all this wonderful time that you're going to have off either the weekend or a week or two weeks. And, you know, one minute you are sleeping in on that first day of the holiday thinking, yeah. And the next day or the in a blink of an eye, um, you are waking up and it's time to go back to work or school. I always try to pack as my annual leave or weekends as full of activities as I possibly can, especially linking to my content creation, because I know that otherwise it will just go in a blink of an eye and I will be at the end of the weekend, leave, holiday, whatever, and I probably will have got nothing done at all. And finally, my trouble with time number three, you can never get time back. You know, no matter what happens, those moments, those precious moments, those enjoyable moments, those awful moments, they are gone forever. Yes, we can revisit them and in our memories and thoughts, but that's it. You know, that time has gone and we'll never, ever be going fast enough to make time stop, let alone travel back in time and enjoy those wonderful moments again. And that's it. My three troublesome thoughts about time. But I would like to leave you with two sayings. And the first one I really like. And it's probably it was done by um, Alice Morse Earl. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift. And that is why it is called the present. Oh, lovely. And finally, one more saying. Well, not actually a sail saying, a uh, sailing, a saying, probably something to remember. You know, in this world, you only have two lives. The first life starts when you are born and goes through to the day or the minute that you die. However, you do get a second life. And that's the life you start living when you realize you only have one life. OK, that's it. That's my three troublesome time issues out the way. Yes, time can be troublesome at time and completely baffling. But I guess it's probably the best commodity we actually have. Have fun, everyone, and I'll catch you all later. And until then, enjoy spending time. See ya. Bye. Oh. It's like, you know, you, you're, um, you're having time. And finally, whoop. Don't make that noise. And finally,